I got asked to do a review on the Straker Ice Transporter uh, rod case. As you can see, you can wear it on your back as a backpack. Uh, I'll start with some of the features first. Um, the backpack portion zip up if you don't want it. I honestly don't use it like that. It's the first time I ever tried it on. So zip these up and away. Get the other one in here. I've had this for a little while now and I wanted to wait until I took it fishing a few times. Um, I first bought it, I was hoping it wasn't going to be too big for what I needed it for. You see it's got uh, two pockets on each side. I actually don't think I have anything on that side. Um, my goal is probably to put line in one and the other one I have right now. Soft plastics. I've only really been out pan fishing this year so I don't have my lures and uh, set up really going for me yet on it. And then normally how I handle it is I just grab it by the one strap, sort of over my shoulder, or I have a flip over style house and I just lay it on top as I pull it out. Um, we'll go up to the rod portion here. The thing I really like besides the zippers is it's got Velcro. All the uh, flaps, so if you just want to shut it real quick, Normally in my ice house, that's what I do. I don't worry about zipping it up each time and it comes out and gets out of your way. Uh, as you can see, I got room for three on this side. It's usually what I call my ultralight side. I got uh, three, three rods on this side, two super ultra lights, and then just my light. I don't need to pull them all out. It, uh, go to the other side now. And I got two more. And this is what I would call my uh, northern pike walleye side. And so one of my early worries was it's too big for my flip over style. Because you can set it on your lap and it takes just about the whole ice house to get a rod out. Well, what I found out works really good is I put it right next to my seat in my ice house and I use it as a, a shoulder rest now next to my chair. Works awesome. And I like the video kind of uh, where how it sets, it's just about completely out of the way. And then I'll go into the main hatch area. Holds my jigs, big box for lures, uh, duct tape, GoPro accessory kit, batteries, and my last uh, mystery tackle box box. And I usually throw garbage in here too and throw it away at the end of the day. As you can see, it is quite roomy inside. There's, there's quite a bit of room in these. The drawback is there's a lot of room. So if you're looking to save space, uh, I grew up with a five gallon bucket. It, it's really easy to grab a bucket by the handle, throw all your rod tips in. I'm starting to get more expensive rods and I don't want broken anymore. So like I said, I thought I'd, I'd give it a try. The other drawback is the price point. They're a little pricey. I got mine on sale during an ice show. So it helped. Uh, the more I fish it though, actually the more I like it. It's uh, quick to just grab all my rods, all my lures. I can bring it in and out of the truck, in and out of the ice house, come back inside, make sure my rods are ready to go, rearrange my tackle. I don't have to make multiple. I don't have to dig in a bucket. That's one thing that did drive me crazy is that you're digging on the bottom of the bucket. There's snow in it. There's garbage. You can't find anything and you just you, you forget about what's in the bottom of the bucket. So overall, other than the drawback being the price, I would definitely buy it again. I'd buy it again anyway. But I was concerned about the bulk of it, and it actually works out really well in my flip over style. Like I said, I'll link the uh, ice house I use it in. It works really good in there. Um, whatever end you're using, you just flip around to that end. It pulls straight out in the front of the ice house, and you're fishing. So I will post this, and I will try to get back on the lake, hopefully in a couple days, and see what I can do for uh, something besides this pan fish next time. Try to hit some walleyes or northerns, but weather, ice hasn't been overly cooperative this year. But we'll get out. Thanks for watching.